The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man from his heart come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> So this first reading this morning, as I was praying with this reading, um, I remember being a kid in around 1992. I don't know if you're familiar with the Disney's Aladdin movie, right? But there was, in 1992, I was in probably first or second grade. And I remember just being so enthralled. I don't know if your kids have ever been so enthralled with a movie to where it, it's like they keep watching it over and over and over again. This was before the days that we had direct TV satellite. And so you only had a few channels that you could watch and it usually wasn't very entertaining. And so um, Aladdin was one of my favorite movies to watch. And as I was reading this, this first reading from the Book of Kings, talking about the Queen of Sheba coming to see Solomon, I remember that, that particular scene from Disney's Aladdin where, where Prince Ali, who is really Aladdin, who just was granted a wish by the genie to be made look like he's famous, is parading into the city. And he's got this huge consort with him. And so I was cracking up a little bit, you know, thinking about the, you know, seeing the voiceovers of Robin Williams in the different ways in this, in this, uh, in that that scene from that movie. And I think it's true, though, when it comes to this first reading about the Queen of Sheba was so inspired that she comes herself. She's heard the good news. She's heard about Solomon's wisdom. She's heard that the Lord, that Solomon is doing something that's different than others. And so she does what? She seeks him out. She comes from her kingdom. And she says, I've got to get there because I want to see this. I want to witness this myself. And you can imagine that she's so blown away because as the first reading tells us, everything from the temple offerings to the way that his court presented themselves, everything stood out to her. And she even says, this is much more than I could have ever imagined than the reports that I'm getting myself. And you see, she was just hungry. She was thirsty. She was thirsting for truth. She was thirsting for wisdom, that which Solomon had. And you know, if we go back to that first reading yesterday, that beautiful prayer that Solomon had just prayed in the midst of all of Israel, you see, when we are confirmed, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, they, they can be active and present in our lives. That gift of wisdom. You know, when we think of wisdom, it doesn't mean to have necessarily worldly wisdom, to have a college degree or something like that. That's not what we're talking about. The gift of wisdom is to be able to understand God's particular plan in the world and maybe even in our lives and in other people's lives. And so I think it's absolutely fitting and a reminder for us to pray that we can have that gift of wisdom, similar to that of Solomon. Flipping into our gospel today, which comes from the gospel of Mark, we hear Jesus talking about what it's like ultimately to be pure of heart. 
Because at the end, he tells us those things that come out of our heart, that's where sin happens. Evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. Do we allow ourselves to do these things? And I think that's a good question for us as we receive our Lord Jesus Christ this morning. We receive the God of the universe as Catholics in the Eucharist. What a great gift we've been given. But do we truly live out that gift in going forth and proclaiming that good news like Solomon did? Or do we allow ourselves to defile our Lord Jesus in the sacrament of the Eucharist, in the way that we live out our lives? And so, as we come together this morning as a people of faith, we pray, Lord Jesus, we thank you for allowing us to come here to receive you, your body, blood, soul, and divinity. Lord, we ask in a special way that you would help us to truly go forth and to spread that good news, to spread your, your love, to spread the truth in this world that is so in need of it. Lord, we thank you for allowing us the opportunity to receive you this morning. Jesus, we pray all of this in your most holy name. Amen.